What's going on, people? This is Stormland, Mr. Chris. Uh, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. So, Toronto's Amsterdam Brewery. Um, my initial impression of this brewery, um, I had their blonde way, way back in the day when they were just starting, and I was not a fan as much as I had won, uh, won awards and such. Um, I started coming up with more interesting stuff. Their stouts are absolutely impeccable. Uh, I remember when I first tried my sip of the double chocolate cranberry stout for 2010. If you want, go and check out my review. You can see my honest to God reaction to that beer and I tell you, you're not going to be disappointed. Um, all right. So this year, 2012, for the first time, uh, they came out with a Tempest um, Imperial Stout. Now, as you can see by the writing, they chose a kind of like a futuristic you know, digital looking writing here, if that makes any sense. Um, it's kind of hard to tell even though I got high definition camera here, which is pretty hilarious. It's a 9% ABV and you can tell that this is kind of uh, either the top, yeah, like, it looks like the top of clouds, almost kind of like marshmallows, but it really does look like a, a picture from some place in the world. Um, now, it is unique to Ontario. Tempest Imperial Stout is brewed with a complex grain bill and three types of hops. Cellared for three months prior to packaging, Tempest has a bracing bitterness that quickly blends with deep malt notes and a slight spiciness. Wax dipped and 9% ABV. This beer will settle well for up to three years. Now, this is a first for me, okay, people? Check it out. Wax top. Um, they, I don't know, maybe for preservational purposes, maybe be, uh, to tighten, uh, sorry, maybe to encourage people to age the beer. Um, they have wax coated uh, the upper part of this bottle. So it's actually connecting the neck with the very, very top of the cap. And the only way to get to the cap is just by popping it through the bottle. So let's see. My first time with a wax top, my first time popping off a wax top. Still going to put it right into the grooves there, but there are some grooves, like such, and here we go. Slowly but surely. There we go. I have a buddy who's, uh, who ages beers. Um, I'm going to talk to him about this wax sealing business, and maybe he might start uh, you know, taking that upon himself to you know, dip the tips of his bottles in wax. I don't know, it seems like a good idea. You're kind of air sealing it, right? And you're keeping anything from going in and anything from going out. So, that being said, here's the pour. I'm very happy I chose this gigantic St. Peter's um, glass because look how big it is and it's full of head right to the top. Uh, you know, you have a gorgeous, gorgeous colored head here. It's basically it's like you're, you're like looking at brown sugar, essentially. That's what that head looks like. Now this this stout is this stout is so black that uh, you can't see through it, and you know unlike a lot of stouts that I have experienced, there's usually a red or a brownish tint um, of light coming through the side of the glass. You don't even get that with this. So this really is just black, like molasses. Um, the head. Um, if you take a look, we've got small and larger bubbles. You don't really have, sorry, small and medium bubbles. You don't have very many larger bubbles in there. Now, on the nose, right off the flop, you got an incredible roasted, burnt uh, for, uh, type of complexion that, that instantly hits your nose. You get the smell of molasses. Yeah, burnt, roasted molasses. Let's give it a whirl, people. Oh yeah, in case you were wondering, that was that was a three finger head to start. Wow, you know what? They did a phenomenal job with this beer. I mean, it's nine percent ABV. I'm not tasting the nine percent ABV whatsoever. So this really is a um, I don't know, I, I can say things, but people from my work could be watching this, so I'm, I'm just going to say it, it could get a lot of people 
intoxicated before they would expect it, let's put it that way. So one thing I'm already liking about this, first step, I got lace, um, playful lace on the side here. Now I'm going to take another sip, and you should be able to get another layer of lace from this. Well, there is, I just didn't take enough of a sip for it to be consistent. But honestly, people, what are you getting with this beer? You are getting a roasted, silky smooth, high alcohol content beer. It doesn't taste like high alcohol content beer. And it just tastes phenomenal. Um, yeah, I really love that roasted, burnt taste. I always love that in a stout. Um, you know, that that's what brings out the bitterness in these types of beers, uh, so to speak. And, uh, yeah, I'm really curious about this cap. You see it had wax on it, right? So, question is, is it a plain old cap? Or does it have something on it? And fortunately, but unfortunately, it does have something written on it. And you can tell it is just your standard cap. And the reason why they did that is because you're not really selling this beer with wax on a cap. You're just wasting money by putting new or additional graphics on your beer caps. So Amsterdam, is, as much as I'm on average disappointed when breweries don't put out the extra fundage to change their caps for their beers, I can understand why you didn't do that for this. So you're all good. Anyway, I'm going to keep this because I keep all my, my wax cap reviews. Um, I keep my my caps from all my reviews. And yeah, to be completely honest with you, I like keeping the wax on it because it's going to remind me of my first wax a beer. So there you have it, people. There really isn't much to it from here. Um, I'm going to tell you without even going through the experience that it is going to become more of an alcoholic taste uh, the further you get to the bottom of the glass. This is very, very standard for high alcohol content stouts. The closer you get to the bottom, the more bitter it's going to taste and the more alcohol you're going to taste. So that's it, people. I've had many stouts in my time. And uh, it, it calls itself a Tempest Imperial Stout, but to be completely honest with you, this generally just does taste like an Imperial Stout. It was Amsterdam, he did a freaking phenomenal job. No complaints. It's just not something new if I if if I really had to throw, you know, some kind of a you know comment about that on there. But it, you know, don't get me wrong, it's very good. If you love your Imperial Stouts, you're gonna love this beer. Um, there's many, many Imperial Stouts on the market now compared to the when I was growing up and I was looking at beer on the shelves. This also goes for a large majority of microbreweries, and this also goes for IPAs. IPAs are getting very huge right now. So, um, I, yeah, that's it, people. So, uh, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's very good. Very good. Just nothing special. Um, and that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it, uh, leave it, people. So, don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. Cheers, peace, and goodbye.